Hola YouTube, how are you doing? Today I got really pissed off of this Pentium 3. You know, it was kind of leggy and it was... And then I got pissed off, I hit it. Like, come on! Uh, you know? <laughs> and then I just turned it off, I was like... You know, it was on the internet and some website was demanding something of it. And then I got kind of pissed. So I like did, 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 on it, you know, these things you must never do because the hard drive is right here. So then I tried to boot the machine again and then it said could not find blah blah. <laughs> could not find uh, whatever. And um, you know, uh, I thought, well, you know, let me put in the DVD again, the, the CD, the light. And let me do a reinstall you know or see if i can fix it in the installer but <laughs> because this uh, this version this light version i remove all these kinds of tools di diagnostic tools to repair you know that was not in the dvd in, in, the, in the installer anymore so in fact yeah i had to reinstall everything again and then i reinstalled it but it did a scan of the hard drive and i saw 14 kb in bad sectors when i saw that i knew that you know the drive was and then today I was busy with it and then you know it start messing up again and I just killed it you know turned it around took the hard drive out uh, and you know I just I threw it against the wall and then I shake it at me I thought well this is not good so I just throw it away really far from my house you know cuz I was pissed you know cuz this machine was running really nice in fact before I hit it so that's why in this video you must really believe me it's not good to hit your <laughs> you must never hit your laptop it's really foolish to do I was very foolish today so I apologize for being foolish but then I looked in my library and then I found the 8 gigabyte hard drive yep 8 gigabytes so I was like let me try to you know pop that one in IDE hard drives are really hard to find you know what's an IDE hard drive let me show you this is this is a SATA hard drive you see that but you also have the others with them little pins a lot of pins you know and you can bend the pins if you don't put it good that is a IDE drive and those you know are really hard to find you don't find them easily anymore so I still had the 8 gigabyte in my Pentium 2 compact armada so I just took that one out I could not even remember what it was running I think it was Windows XP Lite so I just removed it from because I mean like the machine is just doing nothing so I just removed the hard drive popped it in here booted the Vista again and installed Vista Extra Lite on this machine the one that we looked at in my previous video so people were like uh, can you also once in a while make a video of how these things actually run if they are you know just nice to make an installer video but can you actually work with it so today you know um, after I installed Vista extra light on this machine and I saw that I had over five gigabytes free space left and that the installation only took like two point something gigabyte complete installation then you know because i think kinda in my iphone you know uh, gigabytes because with my iphone i have only 16 gigabytes and i must really you know be wise with the leftovers of the small amounts of gigabytes that i have and i do a lot of things with it so you know you don't really need many gigabytes to be creative you understand if you do certain things um, and you know what you're doing then in fact with the 8 gigabyte hard drive you have enough because you can pop in something like this a USB stick and you can you know back up to that so in fact you know of course it's different if you must go and get all these updates you know 
making the system grow big but this is not a system that will be updated this is a system that runs windows vista extra light and we want it to stay light so you know no updates and things like that only important updates you know that we need such as frameworks and things like that okay peeps let's take a look at the system what it became after installing vista light again on this machine but then on an 8 gigabyte hard drive that makes a little shaky noises when you you hear and it made really strange noises when I put it in but then suddenly it was running good so I think maybe one week two weeks this thing might die again so let's take I a think look this it. is the best way that I can show it to you um, this is the system now and I installed the Wi-Fi driver the only thing that I need to do now is pop in the Wi-Fi stick. So I'm gonna do that. I did not do it yet. I also did not connect to any network as yet. This thing has never been on the internet yet. So let me see if I can bring you a little bit closer so you can get a better view. You see it's installing the driver software there. soon we can log in I of course added the rocket dock again here let me show you some uh, some settings let me show you the hard drive and I find that really fantastic because you know there are still many of these 8 gigabyte drives out there that never have been sold brand new you know and others 10 gigabyte and you know 15 gigabyte 20 gigabyte and as you can see I still have 4.77 gigabyte space left and we can do a disk cleanup and see that we can clean up 3 megabytes and 24 KB that is not so much of course but we have the most important things installed all the drivers are installed and you can see we still have 4 gigabytes so that is more than enough in fact because we're not gonna update or install crazy stuff on it of course you know uh, this machine will be only for yeah for what it will be of course also for the internet so let me add my chameleon browser icon in the toolbar here at the bottom and then we're gonna start it up and this is the first time that we're gonna go on the internet you see we are on Google look if you want to watch YouTube videos try to do it with your phone or with some other device you know you can also try it with this device but <laughs> you should not complain when it goes slow or when things start loading you should not do crazy things with this with this thing you should go to you know um, new sites and read the news oh that is horse horse is gonna get stuck in the mud <laughs> well as you can see it plays slow sir it's play slow but uh, we're gonna do another project on that because a friend of mine sent me some apps some names and he said I should ch check that out so we're gonna do that real soon but this thing is not to watch YouTube uh, and so American 1023 I want you to push back to spot 4 for me you see American 1033 I'm sorry I think it's at 20 didn't I American 1033 spot 4 for me spot 4 American 1033 we have solved this is happening right now. This is Amsterdam. Issue in the cabin. Did you hear that? There's an issue in the cabin. Okay, 
All in all, not bad, eh, peeps. I, I mean, like, the system is just fine. It's not that it's fastest, but it runs good. And just imagine if we would install XP light on this thing, then probably we would have uh, like 7 gigs free space. It still amazes me that we have so much space left on this machine. I really love that. I think that is really fantastic. So if you think this video was kind of cool, give it a little thumbs up. Of course, subscribe to my channel if you did not already. And then I want to invite you uh, to watch my video after this one that will be about creating this beautiful uh, installer of your original Windows Vista DVD or uh, ISO file into a light installer for older laptops. Thanks for watching until my next video.